back in 2014. There's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Washington now brings this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. drop this one off with ETN. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive. And he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. The Lawrence will throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And he gets this all the way inside the Jets' 20 into the red zone. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 42 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Now forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Motion man left is Kirk. It's a throw again is Lawrence. Flush to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Red on red. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! Here's Lawrence to throw. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets will take over here at their own 14-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up 14. First and 10, it's Hall to about the 33-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Now it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end two yards on the pickup there and now we've got a third and four 
Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Go to 50. Hey, you block over here. 26. Here's Rodgers. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. Inside the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. But well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people can't expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now Rodgers. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw on that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. They'll run with Hall. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Throwing quickly, this is caught by Kirk. Oh, what a juke into space. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the 23, here's the second and nine. A uh, handoff running left is ETN. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 14. It appears.
appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. Now Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Now Lawrence to throw. He targets Ingram for another grab. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. Here's Lawrence, forced out to his left. This is caught, able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. To throw, it's Rodgers. This pass out wide to Hall. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Third and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Rodgers to throw for it on four. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hey, go, go. Looking to throw Lawrence. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Two yards to go, second down. Lawrence. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And this one is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. Guys, man. Caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram, 29 yards. And the Jaguars' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Now the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Rodgers now to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, three completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. No, no, no. Go to 50. Hey, you block over here. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Rodgers to throw once more. And his throw is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Rodgers going to throw. And this throw incomplete. I mean, a defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down.
Rodgers going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Hey, hey. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Open man is Kirk, complete. He's still on his feet. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Lawrence will throw. Touchdown, Jaguars! Travis Etienne in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jaguars will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Final shot before half for Rodgers. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisko. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. To throw is Rodgers. That's caught. This is a band of Canada. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. One more time with Hall. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. 
So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. 